Hey guys, and welcome to Learning Chinese with Cam. I'm Cam. Let me tell you a little story about why I started learning Chinese and why I think it's the most interesting language to learn and why I think you should start now and you can do it starting in 2019 or 2020. From a young age, I was interested in science fiction and specifically cyberpunk. And all over cyberpunk, there is Chinese characters or, you know, I mean, think of Kowloon Walled City. I think that a lot of people who are interested in cyberpunk are interested in, in some sort of dystopian idea that China will uh, rule the future, and so it's all over the place there. Not only that, but science fiction uh, science fiction informed my, I, my other ideas in life. So right now I go to school at New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology, just a couple of blocks over that way, and science fiction informed me uh, about physics and made me want to go into physics as a career and that's why I'm in school for it and I think that more and more we're finding Chinese scholars in American institutions American universities well I mean a I'd like to be able to talk to my colleagues in the future in their own language to make them feel comfortable but B it would be really great to have a future where perhaps I could move abroad and be a scientist somewhere else so when I graduate in December I'm actually going to move to China for a year to teach English and continue to put myself in situations where I have to get better at Chinese. And of course, every day I'll study too. So what I want to do on this channel is to tell you about my favorite resources for learning Chinese, to give you some resources that, that me and my Chinese friends come up with to help you learn to get better at it, and, uh, and to share my experience with all of the ways I've tried learning, all of the ways I've found effective, and um, and to share with you the journey that I go through to learn it as I be as I am in China next year, I want to share that with you. I'm actually going to travel to Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and Hunan in about uh, a week and a half from now, and so I cannot wait to share that experience with you. I will have cameras with me the entire time, and I uh, I'm going to go there and hopefully just get lost <laughs> for a long time, and uh, and have to find my way to a train station or to my hotel or to a restaurant because I think that these ways might be the best way to uh, to get better, to find yourself in survival situations and learn to communicate. One thing that I've learned in all of my study of Chinese is that the idea is to communicate with other people uh, for my own purposes, my own academic you know, pursuits and interests. I would love to be the best. I'd love to be the next Da Shan, the next, the next you know, Chinese orator from a different country, but I think that, that that's just for my own pride, while the actual point of learning another language is to learn to communicate with other people. So over this journey, I'm going to travel, I'm going to show you as much of China as I can, I'm going to help you learn, I'm going to help you avoid the mistakes that I made while I was a young learner. I've only been learning for about a year and a half, so still kind of young learner at it. But and, and hopefully in the future I will take all I've learned from Chinese and start to learn other languages. I'm interested in French, Vietnamese, Russian, Japanese, you name it, you know, I'd love to learn more about it. And so uh, stick around, I cannot wait to show you China in a couple of weeks, and I can't wait to take you with me when I move there, and I can't wait to show you every step of the process. So if you are interested in moving to another country to teach English, or if you are interested in learning an Eastern Asian language, I will help you. And so stick around and wait and, and watch out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.